Yo, what is up? As always, hold on while I set up this poll. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Um, welcome back to the second day of streaming while I've been gone. Um, this is probably gonna be my last time for a little bit. Once again, uh, I'm gonna be out of town, taking care of some things. But after that, after I return, I shall return. Um, this time I should be taking on Manus. I fought him a couple of times yesterday. He's different. He's a different fight. But I think I got his patterns down for the most part. I, I don't think he'll take me as long as Calamite did. Um, he's just a weird boss to fight. Strange, strange. Uh, but as always, you know, if you if you enjoy the stream, feel free to like, share, follow, all that stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this game. Hope you guys are enjoying y'all's Thursday. There you go. I'm gonna have to switch out my earmuffs. If they can get switched up, I don't know. something with this game and it's not synced all the way with these headsets i don't know it's just this game that does this on it's got to be like some update issue or some firmware firmware issue but i don't know it's been doing like this for a good bit all right uh i did open up the shortcut so it's kind of a it's not that bad of a run back to get to manis He's got my souls in his lair, though. After I defeat Manus, I'm probably going to stop with this playthrough and finish the rest of it. The rest of this game, at least, when I get back. Uh, depending on how long Manus takes me. If it's not that long, then I'll go to the next area. Try to defeat that. Either New Londo, New Londo Ruins, or... Uh, the demon ruins. Hello, guy. Need that green titanite? Nope. Try not to fall off here. Lose all those souls. More importantly, the humanity. Oh my god. What do I have equipped? Alright. I should be alright. I should be alright. Uh, I should be alright what I have. With what I have. I learned you can summon Sif, um, but it's actually inside the boss arena. You pretty much have to dodge Manus to summon him. Yeah, he's like over here somewhere. Ah, I want my souls. If I can get up. Right. You gonna hit me? That's fine. This combo, bro. Yeah, I bet. Okay. It's only nine thousand souls, so 
Only 9,000 souls. More concerned about the humanity. That one humanity that I have there. At least a run back's not too terrible. So I remember to send this back up. Those things are annoying. They don't attack. They just drain your life if you touch them. Get up. I'm have to risk it. I have some reason my head says out for the sound. I don't know what's going on with these things. It's very annoying. There's gotta be an update for my headsets or something. Yet. One second. Thank you. 
risking risking healing. Can't do anything about it. Uh Yo Lapera. Whoa, what's going on? Thank you for the like. That's fine. That always gets me. That always gets me. I need to heal. All right, perfect. Perfect. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, he got me in the combo. It's not enough to kill me, but it, it just annoyed me. Heal. That actually hurts. That hurts. Heal. Alright, be careful on these last few hits. Got him. Let's go. He actually wasn't that bad. He wasn't that bad. Uh, soul of Manus and 10 Humanity. Nice. Talk. Who do I talk to? Uh, yo, Ben, what's going on? Thank you for the like. Ben Hall, thank you for the like. Who the hell is this? Yo, appreciate the GGs. Was this Lady Manus or something? Is that the lore that's going on? The same lady that I gave that soul to? Not saying anything. Amazing trap ahead. But strange. All right. And is there more to it? Is that it? Try rear. Try ranged battle. I don't want to do endurance. And I saw this. Huh? I figured there'd be something else, like a story or something, but I guess that's it. Well, GG's. We're done with the DLC. Let's see, repair my stuff. Unless there's something about it that I'm missing.
See, I fought all, well, four of the main bosses, so. Yeah, we're done. Uh, I think I'll warp back to the other bonfire so I can get 15. And I think I'll do Demon Ruins next. Either that or do Londo. Which I have to be cursed. Either cursed or use one of those transient curse things, I think. So I can actually fight those ghosts. Um, yeah, but first here. Uh, give me my 15. And I'll start at fire link. I keep feeling like I'm missing something there. I think I'll upgrade this one. I think I'll kindle this bonfire to plus well to allow it to give me 20. Let's see. It's the one I use the most. Those extra, flat, those extra flasks do come in handy. Depending on when you use them. All right. That should give me 20. Yep. Get rid of those. Um, I don't think I'll need this weapon. Not for the rest of the game. The only reason I use this for Artori is because I wasn't doing any damage with this. I do need to upgrade this though. Let me see. He is here. Need some slabs though. Got two of them. Wrong one. Uh, altar of the graveyard? No. Chamber of the Princess. Which one was it? Depths. Undead Parish. These warp points are kind of strangely named. Yeah, this is it. Is he not the one who makes it plus 15? Let's see, modify. Or maybe I haven't found the ember that I need. Let me see. Crystal Ember. I don't even know where it's at. Alright, fine.
Yeah, I think New Londo is next. I'll do New Londo. Get it out the way. Can I use a cursed weapon? Hold up, actually. This headset's killing me. The sound is kind of weird. Uh, devices, accessories. There's got to be some updates for it, right? No, I guess. No update available. Okay, I guess not. It's just weird how the sound keeps going in and out. How many transient curses do I have? And where can I buy them? I got two. Uh, I want to say I can buy them from this lady up here. in my pair in a little bit you know I never use it Am I still alive? I am. That means I can get invaded. I think it's this lady who sells them. She sells moss. Oh, she does sell them. Four thousand. I could also kill this dragon as well. I think I'll do that later though. Let's go ahead and throw... Where are they at? Throw these on. Alright. should be good for for new Londo. I think you can pick some up 
uh, pick some of those transient curses up uh, while you're in Yulando as well. Let's go patches. No, that's not patches. Patches is over here somewhere. There you go. Oh, you again. Fancy that. You've come at the perfect time. Some new gems have come my way. I saved them specially just for you, mate. It's actually worth keeping him alive in this game. Uh, he sells like these masks, and weapons, and all that. These, yep. Mask of the mother, child. This is the one that I needed. Slightly uh, slightly raises stamina recovery speed. I could use that. Eight thousand, sure. Right, good stuff, eh? Don't you forget who got it for you. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, we chop. Prostration. is worth it. I got the grass crest shield equipped so I should be alright. What's up G Money? Yo, what's up? How's it going bro? It's been a minute on my end. Did I give this guy all the embers? Hey, hang on. Is that an ember? Nope, I didn't. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're Vinheim don't deal in shoddy embers like that. Oh. Perhaps you should try an old smith out in the country. So this one probably goes to the one in Is that place called? Come back soon. Smith The bone uh blacksmith. The one that's made out of skeletons. And the catacombs. Yeah, it's not worth killing. I don't remember how long these things last. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've been through New Londo. Try curses. How the hell did you die here? So if you're unfamiliar with uh, New Londo, the only way you can hit those ghosts is if you're either cursed um, or if you use one of these transient curses. Otherwise, all your attacks go through them. Or you can use some cursed weapons, but they're very rare and they don't do as much damage as what you have currently. So I think this is one. It's better just to use like a transient curse. Nice. Uh, yo, Sean, thank you for the like. What's going on, bro? 
I just don't remember how long these things last. Sometimes these ghosts drop cursed weapons as well, so hopefully I'll get one. But if not, then it'll be all right. Uh, can I walk off here? I think this is a bridge. Yep. Hey, hello. Oh, I'm way over the, for this area. Cool. Uh, yo, Phenom, what's Channel, going on, bro? Thank you for the like. Yo, thank you for the like and the share. Yeah, this is like a bridge. I can barely see it. Uh, okay. Can upgrade my flask again. Try not to walk off here. Uh, what's good, Golden Sneak? You been good, bro? I've been alright. Um, dealing with a lot of family issues and all that stuff, so I've been better, but I'll be alright. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's see. Okay, these transient curses last pretty uh, a good long while. Okay, those hit through shields. That doesn't work. Okay, so it's got to be weapon. All right, it's been a while since I've been through here, so it's probably gonna be a lot of backtrack and exploring and all that. Be a shortcut. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm way over low for this area. Fine by me. Good thing I did the DLC and all that. All right. Nah, it's got to be a trap. Ghost, of course it is. Ah, okay, I see. Nice. I did not think these transient curses would last this long. Our ranged battle. Alright, now it's off. Alright, it's worn off. It lasts a good bit. Cut up. What was the point of you yelling? It's 
It's gotta be a shortcut, right? Yep. Ah. Oh, it's that guy I was aiming at earlier. Is this a shortcut? Gorgeous view. So I item or something over there. I just don't want to fall off. Okay. I do know for the boss fight of this area, though, that you want to pretty much attack him as quickly as you can before he summons other people. There's really like five bosses in one. Hey. There you go. Yeah, it's like five bosses that you fight. But they get summoned one after one. No, oh, this is not a good place to be. Okay. Well, you can kill it pretty quickly if you attack it one by one. You don't want to allow it to like summon more than one and worry about multiple fights. Where's that ladder at? I already got turned around. What was the point in the ladder? Is it even a shortcut? I don't think it is. There's a ladder, but hmm. So maybe it's not a shortcut. Unless I'm missing something. I think I'm going to throw this ring on say some of my flasks and all that this is definitely a trap Equipped. There you go. What is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a trap. That's what that does. You summon a lot of people. That's what I didn't want. I didn't want it to... 
I didn't want the effect of that transient curse to like go off at a crucial moment like that. And I was surrounded down here. It might be worth it just to keep this ring on. I'm not killing them quickly enough to offset the health that they're, or the damage that they're doing to me. It's probably another trap. Ghost ahead. Yep. I don't like how they can go through walls. It's hard to tell when they're where they're attacking from and all that. Uh, should I go down here? Why not? Oh, this is just back to where I was. Cool. Okay. Can probably jump that. I'll leave it. I'll come back to it. Or never mind. There's another way down. Cool. There's no ghosts. Uh, take your clothes off and jump. Oh, I got it. There's a way around. I figured there might be. Because there's got to be a way to get back up if you do go down, so... Yo, Berto, what's going on, bro? Robert Gray, thank you for the like. Appreciate the like. Before I... There's like a, so many different ways I can go down here. Oh, yeah, I got it. So I like to explore a lot first. Yep, hello. Let's see, it was a curse bite ring. Boost curse resistance. All right, so uh, nothing that helps me fight the ghost. Nothing much, bro. I hear you. Hey, I'm gonna need you to download It Takes Two so that I can have somebody to play it with. I didn't realize it was only a multiplayer game. So, and it's supposed to be a really good game, so. Uh, wasn't there a ladder or something? Yeah, this thing. Wait. This looks like a trap as well. been through here so it must have been the item that a ghost dropped that I missed gotcha uh, on what uh, Xbox 
Actually, I'm not sure if it's cross-platform. I don't know. Either Xbox or PC. It's on Game Pass, so you can... It should be free to download and all that. There's the ladder. Okay. I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to be going. I'm guessing down. So maybe this is the wrong way. Alright. Who are you? You must not be an enemy. I can't lock on. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors. Save for ghosts. You have the Lord. I'll do it for this weekend. Sweet. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the scene. Okay, cool. So I had to meet him. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the knight Artorius traversed the abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the abyss may prove surmountable. Uh, what if I killed him already? Uh, I think this is where I need to use that ring. The one that I got from Sif. Which one was it? This one. Yeah. Traverse the abyss. Yeah, I need to wear this ring whenever I get to the boss area. I think otherwise I'd die or something. Something weird. Hello there. What is it? The key to the seal is now in your hands. I will help you in any way possible. Uh, oh, you can break curses. I should have waited till I got to him. He only sells them for a thousand. The other lady sold it for like eight thousand. What's this curse? Uh, how many do I have? Eight. I probably won't need this many, but let's be on the safe side, I guess. All right, cool, cool. We got the key, so I guess now we can go down. Find my way through this maze of whatever this is. Uh, this way, maybe? Not this way. This way. Hmm. It's probably a ghost or something over here, a bit. No. There's an item over here. Hope I can get back up. Okay, got it. Okay. I don't think I ever use any of the sacrifice rings. I got like two of each. Let me see. Yeah. Or, yeah, two of those and one of those. Mm -hmm. I 
guess I this is the only way to go back. Cool. Got to be the shortcut. Or no? Okay. Or maybe this is. This is the shortcut. Or no again. Valley of the Drakes. All right. Where did this go? I vaguely remember this from the first time I played it. Vaguely remember this. How did you die? Something's over here. Ah. Literally waited. Well, I don't remember what that attack does. The combo, nice. Is this a Tori? Oh, not a Torius, but is this the Four Kings? Be wary of right. This looks like a boss arena. I'll hold off real quick. Uh, Yo, Marco, Marco what's going on? Thank you for the like. like. Kind of want to explore a little bit more before I go in there. I kind of want to make that mad dash through here to get that item, whatever it is. I'll hold off on that. Let's see what's up here. Up the stairs instead of going down here. I might have forgotten something. 
I don't remember if I need the transient curse for uh, what's his face, the four kings. Should be all right, right? Praise the sun. Nice. It's actually stronger than my bow. And my bow is plus five. Uh, S scale into dexterity for my regular bow, so that it, my regular bow has the edge. Uh, when it comes to that, at least. All right. That was it? Okay. So I guess we can go fight him. I do need to remember to equip this. Uh... I swear there was like an item or something around here. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just misremembering things. I don't remember if I need this. Whatever. Okay, what is that? This isn't the boss arena, so... It's a pretty cool looking enemy. Oh, I forgot bleeding. I do have bleeding.
These guys aren't bad. They're pretty much like the Black Knights or the Silver Knights, whatever they're called. You just circle around them. I wish it was a little bit brighter. It's kind of hard to see where I'm going. Unless you back up into a wall. Or something. Oh, okay, we're back here. Okay. What does he say? Hidden path the head. I don't even want to talk about it. But... I mean, the message was technically right. Oh man, that sucks. Ugh. Yeah. I should have hit the wall instead of rolling through it. I usually do that to... I don't know, save durability. That I don't really need on my weapon. I don't know. I'm surprised I didn't run into any bonfires down there. Or at least, unless I missed them. And I thought I opened up a shortcut, but I don't think it was really a shortcut. And it shouldn't be that hard to get back to where I was. I got more than enough transient curses. Just sucks. Oh, uh, okay, got it. That's what that did, lowered the water down here. Just try not to mess up and fall off here. I don't think, yeah, I can, Never mind. I want to take a look at that bridge uh, that I crossed. I should have upgraded my flask while I thought about it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this was the bridge. So I was right. It was kind of hard to see. Like most things in the water in this game. I think I should be safe to run past everything. Try not to fall off. Oh, this one I, I gotta fight. Too many. I'm 
hoping they'll drop a cursed weapon. But thankfully, this my poise is pretty high, so. This really led to nowhere. I mean, there's there's got to be some bonfires down here somewhere, right? my souls. Let's see. I know that's a trap and all that. I have to fall off here. Okay, that must be the boss door. Stay still, I'm trying to backstab you. There you go. There was like two of them in here. And that big whatever it is. Where's the other one? Okay, so I guess that big one, big blob or whatever it is, disappears once you kill it. One of the few enemies that do. I don't know what that does.
what's that and how do I get up there? Let me let me get my souls first. Um Yeah. I'm gonna grab those real quick. Where were they? They're down here. Are they around here? I died here somewhere. There they go. I don't know how they ended up being all the way back here, but I know they they kind of spawn a few seconds behind where you died, but that's kind of far away. I'll take it. I'm guessing I gotta go on the hidden path, maybe. Okay, it's two of them. And another one of those things. That's the boom. I haven't found a single bonfire down here. Let's see. Alright, that's good. Alright, that's gotta be the boss. Hey, weirdo, chilling in the corner. Supposed to jump. No, oh, okay. This doesn't feel like a boss. Before I go here, I'm gonna uh, explore all this stuff that I missed. See where that hidden path takes me. I hear footsteps. Nope. Yeah, I don't want to get kicked off there. Not again.
Okay, it's just a chest. Alright, safe. Is that just a Titanite chunk? Oh, okay. Plus 14. So these are what I need. And the slabs just to get it to that final plus 15. I need to upgrade my weapons more. Only plus 10. Let's see what else. There's some other stuff over here, I thought. Off there. I need to figure out how to get whatever that is. It's probably nothing that I need. This is a shortcut. It's gotta be. Okay, got it. Got it. It's a pretty neat shortcut. Yep. This is probably how to get up there. I just got a feeling. No ghosts. I hope there's a point in doing all of this. Let me see. Ah. That's a good find. That's what I need to... I think that's what I need to upgrade my weapons to plus 15. Let me see. Ascension for, yeah. Ascension for plus 10 standard weapons allows reinforcement to plus 15. Sweet. Now I can finally upgrade this plus 10 to plus 15. I'm glad I took the time to come back and explore all this. All the way back around. Try not to fall off. Now I can go fight the boss. I think this is all. That was that item up here. It was nothing but 
we found something better. That ember. All right, cool. To the boss. I think it's the. Excuse me. I think it's the boss anyway. Is that an item? It is. get to it. Okay, this has got to be the boss because I can't go back. Cool. Uh, Alright, still got this equipped. Do a flip? Ugh. Yeah. This would be the perfect place to die. So the main strategy for this guy, from what I remember, is to basically attack the first guy that spawns non-stop. Try to kill him before his little reinforcements show up. Because they're not, this boss is not bad if you can need ring. Yep, I got it on. Yeah, this, bad, this boss is not bad if you can, like, kill them one by one before their backup shows up. I just jump off here, I think. I kind of want to switch this out as soon as I get in there, though. I'm not sure if you need to keep it on or not, but whatever. The Abyss. Need Dark. Where's he at? Oh man, I'm not doing anything to this guy. Yeah, he has his own little separate HP bar. Alright, cool. Next. That is the next. Try not to die. Alright, didn't do much. Get up. I'm pretty much hacking away. I'm not using any strategy whatsoever. I'm just attacking. Alright, cool. Stamina.
Ah, there's the fifth one. It's called Four Kings, but there's actually five. But well, you can win by killing four. It's actually not a bad boss fight. As long as you try to kill them as quickly as you can. Um, yep. What? Sweet. Uh, uh, yo, thank you for the GG's. Well, there's a bonfire. Now there's one more Lord Soul to get. And then I can finish the game. Well, I gotta defeat Gwen first. I think my camera just went out. One second. Why are you doing this? Does that sometimes? Let us. You're getting towards the end game stuff, so a lot of these stats really don't matter anymore. So I guess I can just dump it into my vitality and all that. Uh, Therion, yo, thank you for the like. Thank you for the like. And I can turn this ember in. I think it's to the one in Undead Bird. If not, it's the the giant one in Norlando. So let's go to Undead Bird or Undead Parish. Can upgrade this weapon some more. See. I think there's an achievement for my, my, matching out my weapon, I think. Or maybe it's one for max, maxing up all my weapons. Let me see, which one is it? This one. Uh, reinforced weapon. I need one more Titanite chunk. You don't sell them, do you? No. I think the blacksmith in Orlando sells them. One of the blacksmiths sells them. Or maybe he sells the Twinkling Titanite. Let me see. It's the best way to get there. None of these. Uh, Chamber of the Princess. I don't remember what's, what's the quickest way to get to him. 
So I killed the fire keeper here, so this I think this might be the best way. Wait a minute. Almost forgot another level. I need to upgrade my flask too. Plus five. Before I forget. I hate these guys. They're not bad, they just, I don't know, they suck. I've killed a lot of these guys and oh hello what I really want from them is I want their weapon the sword that they use but it, it has a very rare drop chance I got it on my last playthrough that I did fairly quickly but I didn't realize how low of a chance it had to drop I was very lucky that time Oh, you take that other ember. Cool. I had shiny, shiny. I make weapons shiny. Man, do you sell chunks? You don't. I need one more Titanite chunk. I don't. I don't remember if you can buy them or not. If not, I'm gonna have to farm somebody for it. Let me see real quick. I don't remember where you get them. Valley of Drakes. Drops from Crystal Lizards, drops from the Black Knight, Royal Sentinels, those things that I hate fighting, but that's a rare drop. Hmm. I guess I can farm these guys. Alright, I just need one though, let me see. Uh, boost item to score, but this should help a little bit. I just need one. Okay. This guy still hurt. They can heal too. That's why I hate them. Why you're up there?
built. Oh. Oh, is that it? Let me try not to die here. Yes, okay, sweet. First one, at least it didn't take me that long. Uh, let me see, how do I get out of here? This way. Undead Parish. I'll go ahead and show my results so you guys can have them. A lot of people, well, only one person voted, but I figured it wouldn't be much. But yeah, that person liked the Black Dragon Calamite. It was a fun fight for sure. Uh, absolutely, definitely a fun fight. I think I prefer the Tor uh, Ortorius though. He fought a lot different than all of the enemies that I've fought so far in this game. It made me change how I fought him. I think all the DLC bosses were kind of fun to fight though. Not forged, but reinforced. Let me see. And one five. Let's go. Yato plus fifteen. So we got a max weapon. Uh no achievement for that, I guess. Don't get yourself killed. Don't get yourself killed. A and scaling for dexterity. Oh, I did get an achievement, it's just unlocked way late. Acquire the best weapon through standard reinforcement. It's the max weapon. It's actually not too bad. Two twenty seventy five. Two twenty one ninety one. With A dexterity. With E E dexterity. So yeah. So far this this katana is the best weapon I have so far. Notice I can somehow get one of those black knight weapons. Alright, let's go to the Fire Link. Upgrade this flask. I'm tempted to call it here, but it's it's early in the night. I can keep going for a good bit. Upgrade this flask. I can probably get through demon ruins. It shouldn't be too hard. Forgive me. I have been pure. My tongue is still in tender for this direction. Please, if you have any hope. None. Leave. Alright, plus five Estus Flask and let me get my 20 back. Uh, rein not reinforce, repair. And we should be good. 
All right, where to next? Demon Ruins. That is... It should be down past uh, Quelag. Quelag. Dart of Chaos. I think this is where I want to go. Dart of Chaos. We gotta fight Ceaseless Discharge, the Centipede Demon. We got a few mini bosses before we get to uh, what's her face. I think this lady, I wanna give like 20 humanity so she opens this door up, but we're not gonna do that. I can unequip these. I got like 43 of these. Well, technically. 63. These count as two. As a sanctuary guardian gave me a soul. Victorious gave me a soul. He did, but I gave it away. I shouldn't have. No other one that didn't was Calamite. He didn't give me a soul. Alright. Demon ruins. My shoulder hurts. I don't know why. Secret ahead. this way it's been a while since I've been through the demon ruins as well so bear with me Let's go ahead and rest up here All right. don't kill these things because they're part of my cult thing They shouldn't attack me. What do I have? And switch this out. Um, probably for something that helps with fire. Until I get that ceaseless discharges ring or whatever. Y'all don't attack me, do you? You do. this way. I know there's a way you can cheese this boss. I think they patched it. I did it. I mean, what? All you gotta do is. Something like that. Well, every time I fought this boss, I always cheese it. I think I'm gonna try and fight it fairly, I guess. You can get him to walk off. Yeah, there's like this edge right here. You can get him to walk off or something like that. Unless they patched it in or patched it out or whatever. I don't remember. I do know he attacks you as soon as you pick up like an item over here. Yeah, this ledge. All right, you can get him to follow you all the way back here. and Or at least you used to. Unless they changed it. the item. Hello. If 
but I think he doesn't attack you. Yeah, until you pick up that item. So you can see him, but yeah. It's an ugly guy. And that's like, I think it's Quaylag's brother or something. Try fleeing. Now he attacks. Oh yeah, he's done. I'm way too over level in this area. I'll take it. One hit. Which one gave me a ring? I think it's the centipede demon. Uh, humanity, homeward bone. I thought you dropped something too. Oh, sweet. Somebody kindled the fire. I'll take it. I thought he dropped something. It's just a circle. Alright. Maybe not. I might finish this game tonight. I mean, I might as well. I don't have that much left. Honestly, just gotta finish this area up. Uh, the centipede demon, the witch of Isolith, and Gwen. That should be it. And what level am I? Yeah, 85. I'm way... I'm at a good level to finish this game. What's up here? I gotta keep going in circles. I, mean, I might as well finish it up. There's not much left. Checking my durability really quick. I got enough.
I think when I originally used to play, I used to rock the gold hemmed uh, equipment. But I think they nerfed it. I want to say they nerfed it. Oh, look at all those mini Taurus demons. I think they nerfed it. I'm not sure. Let me check. Gold hemmed black skirt. Yeah, it was good for fire damage. Bleed, poison. It sucks for curse, but I don't think there's any curse down here, but it's lightweight, so. I might throw it on. Uh, no. Screw it. I'll roll what I got. Eventually I'll get to that, uh, that fire ring or whatever. Come on, you can't hit him. Okay. It's probably too far away for it to do any damage. That is not a mini Taurus demon. That is a full grown one, not paint. Oh, oh yeah, he hurts. Okay. How much souls do you give me? 1200? Yeah. There's a Kaffir demon over here too. Hey guy. I guess I don't have to. Oh, crap. Not two. Not two. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I doubt it. Is that four more?
You guys aren't that bad. Definitely don't want to fight six of them at once. That wasn't a dodge. Oh, nice. I staggered him. There's one more, I think, over here. damage I'll take without the I think it's the orange ring or something Why I couldn't jump up there? Yeah, I take a lot of damage. Uh, hopefully those guys don't respawn. So I gotta go find that ring first, which means I gotta fight ceaseless discharge. I didn't realize it'd be that quick. Okay, they're dead. Sweet. Unless they don't spawn this far away. Yeah, they're dead. Cool. The Capra Demon comes back, though. Okay. Alright, so save this until I get the actual ring that I need to quote unquote walk on this fire. Is there anything else over here that I can actually get? I can probably quickly grab that. Maybe. No, I can't. Because when I pick it up, I'll be like stuck for a little bit doing the whole pickup animation and all that. I'll wait till I get the ring. I don't even know if these items are necessary, really. I do need to go level up, though. I'll do that, too. Let me... I'll go level up. Uh, vitality. Yeah, that, that helps a little bit with flame defense too, so cool.
think I can go over this way. Probably drop this. Yeah, I'm not using it. Oh, that's just mean right here. Yeah, try not to go too fast. Just walk the hill off. Look at all those capper demons. Oh God. One at a time, please. Probably, let me see. You're not gonna move. Throw that on. Sixty nine, nice. I wouldn't be doing this if there wasn't freaking five Capra demons. Like, yeah. What was that? Ah, I see you. I think that's the centipede demon. Can I hit him from here? Kinda of surprised these guys aren't moving. I mean, I'll 
take it. Alright, last one I should be able to save some arrows. I'm sorry, are you not gonna attack? That's the centipede demon. I think I need to go down in order to fight it. Pretty sure. It gives me that ring that I need to be able to, to like walk through all this fire. Without being, being damaged as much. I still get damaged, just not as much. I think it's cool how you can like see the boss before you actually go fight him. That's pretty cool. Bonfire ahead. What the heck is this? It's a millipede? Can I should I kill it? Yep. I was gonna let you live. Some more arrows, standard arrows. I I kind of want to rest so I can respawn here if I die, but I also don't want to bring back all these enemies. I'll leave it. I don't need to rest. guys breathe fire. It's another Capra demon. I am loving this weapon. Oh, and another forest demon. demon. Oh, what is that? Okay. It's good to have arrows. Green Titanite Shard.
There's gotta be one around here. What was that? Ah. Felt like a I could probably use up a few of my soul of a brave warrior, soul of a warrior, whatever they are, and gain a level or something. What are my stats effects that I have? I don't know. I know one of them stamina. What's the other one? Another one? Dang. So I know I need to upgrade my bow. Six arrows. Hello. I wonder what's his weak spot, even if he has one. I don't think he does. trap yep. oh oh okay What if these guys respawn? I hope they don't. This is playing it safe. 
Try not to die and all that. That's why you carry arrow. Uh, that's why you carry arrows. Uh, what is this? Is this a? Can't tell. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Make a. Uh, I think it's plus ten flame weapon. Let me see. Key items. Yeah. A uh, fire weapon, flame weapon, same damn thing. Allows reinforcement to plus 10. The most powerful level for fire weapons. Sweet. I don't think I've ever had a reason to use any type of elemental weapons. I just keep everything standard. Probably make the game a lot easier, but there's really no need. if I can jump over here. I mean, there's a bonfire right outside. Um, so if I do die... I'll go back on that ring first. Try sorcery. Oh, hello. Way too early. Demon Fire Sage, I forgot about this guy. Oh, yeah, he's never mind. I got bleed. Get down here. Humanity, Demon's Catalyst. Cool. I forgot about that boss fight. It wasn't that bad. Now we bleed. I'm gonna still ringing bells. Still ringing bells. I think it down is towards yeah centipede. I don't remember what's up.
three of them. I just realized these things are like baby Taurus demons. Kind of. Or a weird kind of, yeah, they're like a weird version of them. all this is this a shortcut ah got you it is indeed a shortcut cool cool The elevator that I've been stepping on that didn't do anything. Uh, which way do I go? I'm turned all around now. Well, it's not this way. It's not this way. Well, it's either this way or that way. is where I came from. Okay, so straight. This is where I fought uh, the demon fire seed. Ah! God dang it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, this is where I fought the demon fire sage. Okay. Yeah, so I'm supposed to go down. bonfire. I think I will rest at this one. Because I know this run back is going to be pretty wicked. And I already got the shortcut, so if need be, I can warp back and all that. Let me uh, level up. The HP. And I kind of want to go do that, or try that jump at least. I don't have much to lose. I'm gonna pass all those guys. This jump. I completely miss. If I have to, I can use a homework phone. Or I can climb up. Should have did that the first time. Okay, so those, they all come back. Those Minotaurs or Horus Demons come back. Pretty sure I can make this jump. Nope. 
Now that I know I can survive the actual fall. There we go. That it? Okay. I lessened some of the damage. Uh, I think I need to go down here. Is that? Are they running away? Locked by some contraption. Alright. I want to say this is the way I got to go to fight the boss in this area. Or the, the main Lord Soul boss. But I think I got to fight Ceaseless Discharge first. Can I go down there? Grab this item, but also don't want to take damage. I'll grab it. I don't forget it. Okay.
I'm gonna take this. Is this a boss fight? Raise the sun. I don't remember if this is a boss fight. Either way, I don't have much to lose. This is a boss fight. Centipede Demon. The hardest part about this fight is staying out of the lava. I think you can cut his tail off, but if you do, it turns into another something you have to fight or something like that. I need to get him to come over here. Oh, okay. Okay, dick. Stop it. Cut off. Hey, that's what I need. Sweet. Go away. Okay, that's fine. Can't even see what he's doing. Okay. Nice. Got his tail. This turns into something else. Humanity and a homeward bone, and how many souls you give me? Forty thousand, nice. Uh, I can go ahead and throw this on. That's why I was taking so much damage. I had this damn thing equipped. An orange ring enchanted by a witch reduces lava damage. Since his sores were inflamed by lava from birth. The wit uh, his witch sisters gave him this special ring, but fool that he is, he readily dropped it. And from that spot, a terrible centipede demon was born. So that, that demon was born from this ring. That's pretty interesting. Now I should be able to walk on this fire without taking as much damage. Yeah. The centipede's demon's not bad. He just, yeah. He gets a few strong hits in here and there. Green Titanite. Uh, is 
that all that was in here? It's gotta be something else, right? So there. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. What are you looking for? Why? After all. I don't remember all that at all. Why are these... Why are those a thing? I'm gonna need a lot more arrows. Why is this a thing, though? Two thousand. There's a lot of them, too. Supposed to go. Probably this way. Maybe towards the center. I don't know if those dragon halves can see me. There's a lot of them. Okay, I thought that was the enemy. Uh, one of these, I think it's a hidden wall. One of these is a hidden wall. Maybe not. I know there's a hidden wall on one of these pillars. I hope these things can't see me.
Yeah, these guys hurt. Too. I don't know which way to go. Let me see. Maybe this way? I think this is the hidden wall. Yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and rest. <laughs> I, maybe I shouldn't have. So I brought back all those dragons. That's fine. Unless they, they're the ones that stay dead. Uh, maybe. Why they put the health bar down there up under him? I don't know. There's an item out there. I have to get it. Oh, you're alive. Okay, okay. I like how you can hit the walls, but I can't. That's fine, that's perfectly fair. Couple items over there. Crap.
don't know if these items are worth it. Oh, you. How am I supposed to get those? Huh? Seems unfair. Is my stuff getting damaged from this? Yeah. Okay, good news, it looks like they don't come back, so... At least the big dragons, they don't come back. So like this, I can pick them off one by one. Alright, they're not bad. I, I guess I'm just sweating too, too hard. They're not too bad. Especially with the bleed. Cool. Uh, need to figure out how to get those items. Probably from this angle. No. Alright, that is bull crap. Alright, how do I get up there then? This lava is eating through my equipment. Just gotta remember to keep it. God, there's so many of them. Just gotta remember to keep it up. Uh, one by one. I know you saw me.
Oh. Oh, wow, okay. Now it gave me a little trouble, because it wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. quick. Okay. There's one more, I guess, over here. How many? Why there's so many? There's so many. Are these things even a thing? See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least eight. I don't know if I need to necessarily kill them all, but at this point I'm committed. Um I need to kill this one though. Alright. 
It's good that they don't respawn. At least. Oh, let me repair my equipment before it breaks. Gotta be a way to get up here. No. Miss it. Just try it, yeah. There's got to be some way over there. There's something that I'm missing. Spend a lot more time here than I want to. There's like some switch I need to find, I think. And I need to figure out how to get to that. Those two items over there.
Christ, there's so many of these things. Pretty sure this is where I came from. Yeah. Don't tell me this is a dead end. Oh my god. Hmm. Maybe I don't have to go this way. See one, two, three, four, five, six, Hey.
wasn't the one I meant to hit, but. I'll get you all eventually, I guess. There's way too many of you. You done? That's fine. So you guys don't respawn. It's just annoying. Uh, where are my souls at? Over there. I shouldn't need... I shouldn't need, uh... Class to take on the Witcher is a lift. It's mostly like a closer fight. And this bullshit right here, man. to be patient but this part right here is just borderline unfair I don't know if you need to kill all these guys I don't think you do but it makes navigating through here a lot easier I'm gonna end up killing all these uh, dinosaurs, I think. Whatever these things are. It's half dragons.
There's another one over there too. I forgot to put the ring on. That's my fault. That was dumb. Yeah, that really makes a difference. Okay. Wait, why am I taking so much damage? Just for real, just chilling over here. Huh? There's nothing over here that we're guarding. There's nothing at all, huh? I think I only have three more. I need to repair my equipment before it breaks. I can pick on another one. Oh, four more, because they all hide each other. Attack off. Now three more, I think. Unless there's another one hiding. Still four more. Eight.
Three more. Finally. Alright, I think that's all of them. Freaking dinosaurs, man. Half dinosaurs. Annoying as hell. Alright. Uh... Maybe that's the way I go? there. There's two items over there that I want, but I don't, I don't know how to get over there. That's the way I came in. Dinosaurs to get up here, but it's so annoying. All right, yeah, this looks familiar. Okay. Yeah, it's where I'm supposed to go. Am 
I stuck? Alright, no. Nothing back there. Hmm. I should have leveled up. That's fine. Are you stuck? A weird enemy. What if those guys come back? This place is bigger than you think it is. Hello. Oh, you're one of these guys. Okay. Okay, guy. Stop it. Isolith Catalyst. Nice. Looks like the boss. I like the sound this thing makes. This is safe to open. Okay, sweet. Chaos Fire Whip. Oh, 
this down here though. My guess is I don't want to land in that. Uh, there's a lot. Poison, of course, poison. And I need, uh, I can be fine, I'll be all right. That's fine. I need the rusty, where is it at? Because what else would it be other than a poison swamp? drop down is there seriously like no way out of here That's the boss room. And this is where I fall if I uh, 
Yeah, if I fall through those holes that it makes. I don't know how to get out of here, though. Use a homeward bone, I guess. I think those pits kill me. So there has to be a way out of here, right? Okay. How do I get out of here? Okay. Hey. Speckled stone plate ring. I feel like I'm always thanking you. I curse my own ability. Uh, Rex Tickman, thank what is you that? for the like. Uh, yo, Rex, what's going on? Thank you for the like. Let me see. What was that ring he gave me? Uh, this one. Slight boost for magic, fire, and lightning. So it's like a mix of the big three. Cool. I feel like I'm always thanking you. I curse my own ability. I think I was supposed to have him fight with me or something. There's something you can do to change his quest outline or quest outcome or something. There's something strange with him. Do I need to jump back down? No.
Okay, now we're back out. <sighs> Try left. All right, so that was obviously a trap. We made it out. Hello. Okay, tight night demon. On a narrow bridge. What can go wrong? Oh my god, bro. See, 82,000. I should be able to get back to him quick, uh, quickly. Now that I know where the hell I'm going. Uh, straight out, take this. Fuck! That ring, dude. Oh my god. It's 82,000 souls. 82 fucking thousand. All because it's this dumbass. This dumbass ring. That is so. Hmm. That pisses me off more than anything. That's so fucking annoying. The fact that you take so much damage without the ring It's just so annoying. Like I could have avoid I could have avoided all of that. If you just give me like a few more seconds where I can walk around in the lava without freaking dying. Give me enough time to walk back so I don't mistakenly kill myself like I just freaking did. That's so mm, I can't. That's a more that's more annoying than dying regularly to an enemy or something. It's not a it's not a hard run back. Like I could have just went past all these enemies, but at least I didn't have any humanity. Eighty thousand souls at this point is not that much. Still fucking annoying though. Still pretty annoying. Avoided all that shit. Oh man. Oh, 
Don't tell me. Okay. Another rare ring of sacrifice. That is so fucking annoying, man. I think this is the way to the boss this way here. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not sure if that's the boss or not. I guess that's one of the learning moments that I, one of the rare learning moments that I have. Should help with some of this physical damage that this guy does. Okay, bullshit. Stamina. I'm just going to tank his hits. That's fine. I don't... Okay. If I die, the first hit. This guy has a lot of HP. Thank you. Alright. Uh, uh, Titanite Catchpole and Demon Titanite. 
Alright, uh... Which way? There is a... Crystal thingy. That I probably won't be able to catch. Got him. Imminent sorrow. This, I think this is a shortcut. I don't have any healing, so I'm gonna. Oh, what is that? Who are you? I don't have any healing. Is that Solaire? Okay. Let me see. I need to. If I don't have any healing, I can use. Ah! Go away! I need thrown this humanity. I don't remember this guy. Who is this? I think it's Solaire. to fight Solaire. If that even is Solaire. But it's him, I think. Uh, sunlight Straight Sword. Sunlight Shield. Sunlight Talisman. Iron Bracelet and Iron Leggings. Okay. Very clearly Solaire. And I think this might be the shortcut. Kill these, whatever these things are. Sebastian Padilla, thank you for the uh, like. Sebastian, yo, thank you for the like. Tears, yeah. I swear I didn't remember killing Solaire. Or having to. Sunlight Maggot. I think you can trade that to... Uh... Snuggly? That crow? Or something. This takes well this is like a shortcut or something. Yeah. It's a pretty big shortcut. Means I can go rest here. And I should be able to go straight to the fight. I don't think there's anything else I need to pick up. Other than trying to figure out how to pick up the rest of those items in the that lava pit down here. I should be alright. 
I don't think I'll need more than five Estus flasks to defeat Isolith. Her fight's more like a puzzle anyway. Sometimes they drop sunlight maggots. Uh, yo, hey, what's going on, Nick? How's it going? Now I'm almost at the end of this game. Sunlight metal. I think I got this witch, witch of Isolith, and I need to make my way to Gwen. Uh, it's currently 11:30 p.m. where I'm at now. Let me see, 11:30. So you're two hours behind me. So what, you're mountain time? I'm on the East Coast, so it's like, it's 1.30. See, I've been getting back to playing Sekiro. Gyobu is a pain in my ass. Yeah, I love Sekiro. It's probably my favorite uh, From Software game. One of my favorites. Yeah, you'll, you'll get him. He's actually, he's actually not too bad. I mean, I, I say that now, but once you learn to fight him, um, or learn how to fight him or how to fight in that game, period, he, he's really not too bad. Just wait till you get to like Genichiro. He's like the, I'm not gonna say like the, he's like the gatekeeper for the game. Oh, you beaten him already? Just that I haven't fought him in a long time. I got you. I got you. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, so you're just rusty. Which, uh... How many times have you beaten it? Yeah, Genichiro is definitely the first skill check. That's where you learn how to play the game. Can't really sit back and parry like most other Souls games. Well, not parry. Sit back and block and all that. You gotta be, like, aggressive and all that. Learn how to parry. Get that posture up and all that. Uh, Sekiro or Gy Gyobu? Uh, Sekiro. Yeah, how many times have you beaten it? Or is this your second playthrough? Let's see this way. You mean Gyobu? I've beaten him like five to seven times. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. It's a good amount of times, though. It should be towards the boss. Yeah, I need to do this little slide thingy. Grief ahead. Tears ahead. So this boss, you 
It's mainly like a puzzle thing. Ah, you haven't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the more you play the game, the better you get at it. Let me see. I'm probably going to die. But I think as long as I destroy one orb, it stays destroyed, so... Let's get it. For my mental prime, I'd beat him a lot more easily. Maybe one to two tries. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully I can do this the first try, but... I usually die on it. Bed of Chaos. Alright. I need to destroy those orbs. First one, not too bad. The second one is when they, I think she starts breaking the floor. So you have to like dodge holes and all that. And she has that thing too. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ah, no! Crap. That's fine. I think it stays destroyed, so... I won't have to... run all the way around. It's just... annoying. Uh, this way. Wait. Oh, I'm right away this way. Where am I going? No, this way. No, this is the right way. I'm tripping. Uh, I've heard there might be a true end of a Sekiro. I was thinking of fighting Ishin in his prime, since it would be a true testament uh, to how far someone's progressing the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Sword Saint Ishin. That is... I mean, he will definitely kick your ass the first time you, you fight him. Um... But it's a fun fight. It's one of my favorite fights. Him and like both of the owl fights. I like both of those fights. Yeah, Sword Saint uh, Sword Saint Ishin. Yeah, that's a Yeah, that's a true test of your Sekiro skills. It's got three health bars. He changes weapons every time you take down a health bar. But it's a good fight. First time I fought him, it took me a few hours. Uh, let's see. I played through the game three times. Uh, oh, is it three times? Um, hold up. Trying to think. I want to learn as much as possible and acquire as much knowledge as I can. Oh, yeah, yeah. You will. You will. And that comes with, like, playing through the game. Because first time took me, like, 130 hours. Second time took me 60. And third time is, like, 20 hours. The more you play it, the more skilled you get at it. I think I got three endings. You know, purification ending. Uh, return ending. And I thought I got another one. Alright, so maybe just two. Alright, I only played through it twice. I need to play through it again and get the other ending. Oh, yeah. But yeah, him, freaking 
Demon of Hatred. Demon of Hatred is not bad. He's just... He fights... He fights more like a... Like a Souls enemy. Like, you have to fight him a lot different than you fight every other enemy in the game, so... He's hard in that sense. Well, he took me a while to beat, too, but... Once you learn it, it's not bad. Just like any other enemy in the game. Uh, technically, would you permanently die if you lost to Source Ancient? Uh, what he has a mortal blade, especially in the lore. Technically, yeah. Yeah. Technically, but, you know, for game sakes, I guess, then... They changed the rules a bit. What is that? Why did this thing come back alive? Uh, I haven't played Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1, 2, or 3. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. You chose, uh... You chose Sekiro as your first From Software game? That's... That's pretty badass. I mean, you're... I mean, to be honest, Sekiro doesn't really play like any of the other Souls games. Like, it doesn't play like it at all, really. So you're not really missing much. Why did this thing respawn? I thought these things, once you kill them, they, they're gone. Bloodborne, actually? Oh, you have, you play but, uh, Bloodborne? Yeah, that's more close to, like, the Souls games than anything else, really. I don't understand. Why are you back? I'm just gonna run past you because you don't really give me, give me anything. Uh, Bloodborne's your first ever. Okay, okay. I got you. Yeah, Bloodborne's a good game, too. I need to finish it myself. I haven't... I haven't beaten it. I've played through it. A good bit of it. I just need to actually complete it. And thank you. I need to get my souls too. It's only like 10,000. I more so want the humanity. What's the furthest you've gotten in Sekiro? Where are my souls at? Ah, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Uh, maybe I can. No, oh, don't. Don't you do it. He keeps doing that. Alright, I'm just gonna run. Run, run, run. Okay. Good. Giant boss on the bridge terrified the ever living crap out of me. I think I have to get Ichiro. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you still got a lot of game then. Yeah, you you learned the game really after Genichiro. After beating the folding screen monkeys. Oh yeah, okay. I got you, I got you. Oh. Can't stay still here, I guess. There goes my souls. That's fine, because all I have to do now is just run towards the center. Damn it. Yeah, the folding stream monkeys was an interesting fight. It wasn't really a fight. 
It was... Yeah, it was something. I'm gonna have to do another playthrough of Sekiro so I can get that last ending. I think there's three different ones. It's either three or four different endings. If there's one word of advice I have for people who want to get into the Souls games, what's that? I know what my advice would be. Oh yeah, get used to being frustrated, absolutely, and be willing to learn how to get good, yep. You're gonna die a lot, that's normal, you learn from death. And for me, one of the things I've, I've always done since I've started playing these games is I always have a bow. Always have a bow. That way you can like draw enemies away and fight them one-on-one -on -one if you have to. And I think the bow is very underrated. And for your first playthrough, use a shield. Damn it! Caught a, I thought I could run past this guy. He's probably gonna kill me, he has magic. Just because the boss is difficult doesn't mean it's impossible. You just have to accept the fear of death. Absolutely. Because plenty of people have, uh... Yeah, plenty of people have beaten these games at, like, soul level 1, which is not leveling up at all. So it's possible to beat this game without, you know, maxing out your stats and everything. I would say pay more attention to your weapons than your armor. That probably makes more of a difference than leveling up, honestly. Yeah, those runs are pretty insane. It's more about the weapons and what you have equipped. Eventually, I'll get around to doing one, but not right now. All right. So I should be able to just run straight. Oh god. Okay. I did a lot. I need to equip like the fire protection thing. I just need to run straight. Oh, okay. Oh. That was my fault. Completely my fault. Now this, this boss isn't really a fight. It's just like a puzzle. Have you looked into Elden Ring at all? I know a lot of people say Elden Ring is one of their first, uh, well, from software games. I think it's more approachable than most of the other one, other games. It's still, it's still difficult. It's still hard, but it's open world, so you can kind of like go wherever you want, pretty much. 
played the hell out of that game too. Probably gonna play it again. The only reason I'm killing these things is for the chance they drop sunlight maggots. It's very rare, but it's the only enemies that have them. Uh, kind of confused. Uh, how does the weapon type and armor warn the Hold up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a little bit ago. I think I played through it three times. Was it three times? Yeah, I think I played through it three times. Three times on stream. First time was kind of whatever. Second time was... I think it was... Without summons. And the third time was just straight magic. Uh, how does weapon type and armor worn affect the game's difficulty? I've seen a bit of Soul Level 1 run. Uh, so, in this game, like for weapons, let me see. Well, let me compare two weapons. Alright, so I got an Uchi Katana plus 2 and a Yato plus 15. The plus 15 is way stronger than the Uchi Katana. So you see for it says physical 220. That's like the base damage of what it does. If I upgrade the Uchi Katana, it'll get up to that 220. But as it is right now, it's only 108. So yeah, yeah. The more you upgrade the weapons, the more damage you do. So it doesn't really matter how much you put into your stats per se because you see the well for this it, it scales for dexterity so you put a lot of points in the dexterity it raises that the plus 191 on the side that's what you see the extra damage that you do so it, it kind of helps but it's not the end all be all and what what matters more is like how strong your actual weapon is so yep it all depends some weapons are pretty overpowered so like you have these but you can't use them like at soul level one because like your strength or dexterity is not high enough to use it so you got to kind of like work on what you have so most of the times you can use uchi katanas uh like stuff that has low stat requirements that's kind of like what you got to work with or if you're like playing Elden Ring, you can use talismans that up your strength so you can use more weapons or different stats or whatever. It's just interesting. Like you got to plan it out before you just jump into solo level one or something like that. It's an interesting way to play the game. And eventually I'll do one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can upgrade the weapons without spending souls on stats and stuff like that. Same with armor, too. In this game, you can upgrade your armor. Doesn't really work with Sekiro, because there's no... There's no levels, really. Am I going the right way? I hope so. But there's there's ways you can make the game of Sekiro harder. Yeah, some people do it. Uh, you can. Oh yeah, yeah, especially in Elden Ring. Yep. I know for Sekiro you can. There's a bell in the game called the Demon's Bell that you can ring. It pretty much makes all the enemies in the game. Harder gives them more HP and they they can attack more and stuff like that. So it makes it harder a little bit. Uh once you beat the game, if you do a new game or any any real new game, new game plus or just a new game in general, you can give away Kuro's charm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, charmless and demon bill. Yep. 
So yeah, you already know. So there, there's ways you can make the game harder. And as far as like level one. Okay, you're attacking me way back here. Cool. As far as like level one, I don't. I guess you can purposely not increase your HP or something like that. Come on, bro. I was almost there. I guess you can do that. I'm just gonna go for it. I missed it. Come on. Apparently, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, matter too much for the non-boss enemies, especially the demons. Bill. Ah. I didn't know that. I mean, I, I've never played with the... I never did it with the Demon's Bill. Or the Charmless. I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. I may do it. I gotta get way better at parrying, though. run back I'm not taking oh yeah yeah charmless is what I'm more worried about all that chip damage yeah I can get through it fine without it but with the chip damage oh that's a whole nother game you gotta have perfect like reaction times for every single attack. Better, you know, be good at dodging, but or the Mercury counters and all that. I'm surprised this guy up here respawned. I thought they okay dude. I thought they probably disappeared when you killed them. I guess not all of them. Just trying to get by you. There you go. Uh, it's possible to get that good. It just might take a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely possible. I think I was close, but I haven't played it in a while. Like in a good bit. So I'd definitely be rusty if I if I do decide to pick it up. Well, I am gonna pick it up, but I'll definitely be rusty. Problem is the unpredictable slow startup attacks that lead to high damage. Oh yeah. I think when you're first starting out in Sekiro, it's it's okay to like hold down block. Especially if you have the Kuros charm so you don't take chip damage when you do. And just kind of like learn the attacks before you start like practicing the perfect perfect parries and all that. 
Uh, at least that's what helped me out at when I first started playing. I remember, like, I picked that game up when it first came out, and I put it down for a good while before I picked it up again. Like, I put it down for, like, a year or two. Because it was, uh, it was difficult. But yeah, once I learned how to play it, it it's become one of my favorites. Uh, from software games, anyway. Uh, like Godric that I mentioned fighting over and over again until I beat him with help. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I Godric and Elden Ring? Yep. I found it silly that I didn't use any summons even though I was dying over and over again without learning anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely that first playthrough. I used a lot of summons. And I still... I don't know. It's the second playthrough when I actually learned to play the game. But yeah, the first playthrough I did whatever. It's all a part of the it's all a part of the learning process really. It's within the game. You're gonna die a lot, it happens. But while you're dying, you're learning. I don't know why this guy's giving me so much problems. Okay. Just gonna run. Okay, cool. I was Mm. I can't even move. Got it. Okay. You can still kill me here. Okay. I think I'm good now. Oh, he, it's a she. Weakness bug. I think this thing can still kill me, technically. Alright. Yeah, run, Forrest, run. Lord Soul. Humanity. Cool. Oh. This popped out of nowhere. Uh Heard that Malekith got nerfed? That or is that boss that rides on a horse? Oh yeah, yeah you're talking about uh Radon. Yeah, Radon got nerfed. From what I hear. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it, the, this boss fight is mainly a puzzle. Like you try to destroy the two er, uh, two orbs on the side, and then you try to run in and destroy this bug in the center. It's, but it's hard getting to it. Let me see. I should level up. Throw some more into my vitality. All right, we should be ready to go towards the final part of the game. I wasn't planning on beating it today, but I mean, I, I don't have much left, so I'll go ahead and beat it. Yeah, yeah, Radon was nerfed. I, I never fought him uh, when he was unnerfed. 
Because I think I skipped him when I first started playing the game. Like, I skipped him, then came back when I was way over-leveled. And that was after he was nerfed, I think. Either way, Radon is really not that difficult of a fight. Contrary to what a lot of people say. To repair... All right, I think I'm ready. All right, yeah, I got four souls. Those are the four I need. Nito, Beta Chaos, Four King, C. Yeah, I don't really need it. I'm not going to upgrade any more weapons. This is what I'm rolling with. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Uh, have I played Demon Souls? I have. Yeah, Demon Souls is another one of my favorites. This is the first one I played. The original Demon Souls, like the one that came out 2009 for a PS3. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. From what I heard, it, it doesn't really hold up today, but it's been a while since I played it. I need to play it again. If I can get a PS5 for a reasonable price, then I'll probably play the remake. Very well. then uh, imagine there was a harder difficulty mod for Elden Ring. Oh, I'm sure there's one out there. Like, I know there's already, uh, there's like an Elden Ring randomizer out there. So, I'm sure there's mods on PC that make the game harder. Just for PC, though. Pure insanity. Yep. How old was I? Let me see. So it came out, because I, I, I played it as soon as it came, as soon as it came out, 2009. That was, hey, hold up. How long ago was 2009? It was like 11, 11 years, 12 years, 13 years, 13 years, damn. The game's 13 years old. So I was, I was 21. Holy shit. Yeah. Damn, I was 21. So I'm 34 now. So. Holy shit. It made me feel old as hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're born in 2000. Yeah. Yeah, so you probably you probably missed the whole first Demon Souls. Probably the, the whole Dark Souls as well. Dark Souls didn't come yeah, Dark Souls didn't come out that long after Demon Souls. I think it was 2011. I don't look that old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that a lot. Hmm. All right. Hey, yep, I'm 34. I think I'll rest here. That way if I die, I'll come back here. I don't think I can handle this fire anymore, so 20 is what we're rolling with. Uh I was playing Skyrim in 2012, yeah. First ever Elden uh, Elder Scrolls game since Oblivion. Uh, Skyrim was your first one. Oh, nice, nice. 
Yeah, Oblivion. Oblivion was my first one. I never beat it. Uh, same with Skyrim. Like I, I played through it, but I never beat it. It's, it's something with open world games. I mean, I, I had fun playing them, but it was hard for me to stick to the story. If that makes any sense. I had a lot of fun playing them. Like I, I like the games. It's just with most open world games, it, it's hard for me to finish them. The exception of Breath of the Wild, I, I love that game. Played through it, but that's because I'm a huge Zelda fan. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, I, and I bought it too. I think either I bought it or they made it free. One of the two. That was back when Xbox used to use. What was it? Uh. It was some weird currency system they used to use on the 360. Like you had to buy these weird random points and use that instead of actual money. Hello. Uh. Actually, should I go buy more arrows? Nah, I'm fine. I wrote what I got. needed those a while ago uh does it feel tedious you talking about the open world games not not that it feels tedious but it's hard to follow the story because there's so much to do in those games like like for skyrim i always get backtracked so it's hard to stay on the story because i find something else random that i want to do some other random side mission that i want to do a random dungeon here random dungeon there so it, it was just hard to like stick to the actual main story. And that's with most uh, open world games. Like I never finished Red Dead Redemption 2. I never finished the first one. I never finished any of the Witchers. Even though I had a ton of fun playing all of them. So but none of, I never finished any of the Grand Theft Autos. The only real like open world game that I really finished was... Uh, like I said, Breath of the Wild. Even Metal Gear Solid 5, even though I, I love the Metal Gear Solid games, I was I couldn't finish Metal Gear Solid 5 because of the world. Uh, when were you playing open world games? I, I play every single game. Well, not every single game, but yeah, I play a lot of games. A lot of games. Uh, oh yeah, I love Metal Gear Solid 3. I need to replay it. I need to replay all of them. I did play the first one recently, about a few months ago. Still holds up. I love that game. I never did play through Metal Gear Solid 2. That's one of the ones I do need to play. The only thing though like about about them is that it's hard to it's hard to play them nowadays. Any of them really. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah. Imagine if. Do they? I hope not. I know Metal Gear Solid 3 has that. That uh. Has a lot of good songs. So you might get copyrighted for that. But. That would suck. Man you got me. Yeah, I want to play Metal Gear Solid 3 now. I need to find a good way to play it, though. Because they don't have it on PS4. 
I don't think. They didn't remaster it, did they? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It, it might be a joke, but there are some games that are like that. Like, I was streaming uh, the first Kingdom Hearts. And, you know, basically, the opening song, I got copyrighted for that. So, and I think that's like with all the uh, Kingdom Hearts opening songs. So, you're, you're not wrong. Some games can get copyrighted. I know some of the Mario games or Mario Maker, some of the songs can get copyrighted. So, it just depends. I need to carry these guys. shield. I need your sword. That's what I want. And the sword is probably the, one of my favorite weapons in this game. Uh, okay. I think I already had that though. It's actually better. Oh, this is this is what I got from the DLC. Okay. Uh, definitely do second parry. In. Oh yeah. Yep. I suck at parrying too. Um, it's not as bad to do in this game. Um, Elden Ring is a little different. Because you got to parry them back to back to back, depending on who you're fighting. They don't get stunned with just one parry. I know in this game, you can parry the boss. Or the final boss, you can parry him. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do that. We'll see how that goes, though. I've never done it, so. Oh, yeah, Sekiro. That's, the game relies on you parrying. That's how you play the game, pretty much. That's probably the game that taught me how to parry. It's pretty much have to do it. Now these guys, the guys with the axes, I don't know how to parry those guys. Swords are easy. Not these guys, I just backstab them. These guys either the ones with the the spears or the lances or whatever these are. die. It's been a while since I fought Gwen. Are there maces? There are. I think there are. Oh, there. Okay, you can parry. Oh, I'm way too power. I'm... Oh, okay. Okay. You're... Yeah, it's hard to get a timing down. Yeah, he, he swings kind of weird. Okay, he's not bad. Let's 
try not to die. Yeah, he swings kind of fast. That lunge is pretty easy to parry. I just gotta be far enough away from him before to use it. Oh, you can't parry that. You can't parry your grab. I don't think you can parry that either. Oh, I'm about to die. I really want to get the parry for this last hit. Nope. Ah. He can parry me? Can he? Uh, ever heard of the Big Dad builds? I don't think so. I don't think so. I almost had him. I was too focused on trying to parry him. I think I can get him this time though. Actually did parry him a little bit. What's the big dad build? Oh, these guys come back too. I think I can run past them, but I don't want to risk it. Probably better if I change my shield. Something that blocks 100% damage. Let me see. Yep, Peter shield's always good. How much fire damage does it block? 70%. So yeah, this should this should be fine. Yeah, it's the same as the grass crest shield. Uh. a meme in Dark Souls 3. Apparently might have been good, however I could be wrong. No, I never heard of it. I've also uh that's another game I need to finish. Dark Souls 3. I haven't beaten Dark Souls 3 or 2 for that matter. Well that's what I plan on playing next. Uh, after I finish the first Dark Souls. This one. That stamina takes so long to get back up without the grass crest shield. At least I can farm these guys, I guess, if I need to. I 
wonder. 35, 32. Mm. Uh, the final boss is called the Lord of Sender. Or no. No, no, this one I think is Gwen. Lord of Cinder is... I think that's the first dark... No, 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 it's not. Uh, Demon Souls is Old King Allant, I think. Lord of Cinder. That, say, that sounds familiar. Or maybe it's Gwen, Lord of Cinder. Yeah. Yeah, Lord of Cinder. But he, he's Gwen. So yeah, Gwen, the Lord of Cinder. Same thing. Hello. I could run past you, but... At least I got plenty of Titanite chunks for New Game Plus. This game automatically puts you in a New Game Plus, um, unlike Elden Ring where you can choose. Once you beat uh, Gwen, then you automatically go to New Game Plus. Come on, there you go. Uh, have I ever banned anybody? No, I haven't. I don't see a point. But then again, I've never really had anybody in here that was, like, rude, beyond belief or anything like that. I haven't had anybody that was worth banning, really. Or if I've ever had, like, an issue with somebody, i pretty much told them to knock it off, so, and they, they respect it, so, there's really no reason to ban anybody. That's pretty easy to dodge, that first, well, to parry, that first attack that he does. If I can get him to do it consistently. Keep saying dodge. Alright. I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I'm pretty sure that grab is a like an instant death or something. Stamina, man. Stamina is killing me. I can't, like, dodge or anything. I have no stamina.
Oh, God. Uh, I used to hate African Americans when I was in middle school due to me being in an hellish environment. Uh, oh, I got you. I mean, people have their experiences and things like that, so. You can only control what you control. Uh, so maybe I change back to the other shield because I'm. Yeah, the stamina is killing me. And I can recover my stamina a little bit more quickly. I actually think the DLC bosses were a little bit harder than Manus. Well, not Manus, damn. Uh, Gwen. really want his sword. Uh, yo, appreciate the like. Nick Pearson, thank you for the like. Like stamina is everything in these games. Oh, this one gives me a sword. One of these guys. Stop. Of course. I think I already had that sword anyway. Uh, yeah. The only thing I wish I had uh I wish I didn't have to fight these guys after the run backs. They're not bad, but some item from him so it's not too terrible I got two of those I think I got three of those black knight great axes oh two okay 36 strength it's probably slow uh what I like about Elden Ring is the fact that I can take an enemy's weapon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a... I think most of the weapons, most of the techniques, pretty much any ability that you see in that game, you can use. It's able... You can, it's, it's able to be used by you if you can find it. Uh, Head off the bed. Good luck on your final battle. Yo, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Have a good night, bro. streaming five hours okay cool 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 i wasn't actually planning on finishing this but here we are
Let's go, Gwen. Lord of Cinder. That's what you're going to call yourself. See what this does. Okay, that's not much. I have been too much. Could have parried that. Uh, I need to get fire damage. Is this guy considered a fire attack? If I hmm, I'm trying to think if I should throw on that fire ring instead of that. It might be worth it to throw that on. Let's go ahead and do fire damage. He does both physical and fire. It's not really unpredictable. I swear Gwen is really not that bad. I almost beat him my first attempt if I wouldn't focus so much on parrying. Almost, almost, almost. I wonder if you can parry that. I don't think so. Okay, I got the Black Knight Great Sword. I just want the Black Knight Sword. Or a normal sword. That's all I want. Okay. Bye bye.
another one. That's three. Let's see, what's my dexterity? 67. I might need to repair my armor soon. Gwen is fucking me up. This damn fire damage and all. Get a lot of chunks. It's actually not bad. Not bad at her. I'm gonna go get this. Fuck out of you, Gwen. Huh. Seventy thousand. Feels anticlimactic. Uh I think there's two different ways you can end this game. One is you can walk away. And yeah, two possible endings. One you can light the bonfire, and the other one you can just walk away, I think. Let me make sure. The fire ending is a dark ending. Yeah. So if I light the bonfire, then I'll pretty much become the next Gwen. And if I just walk away, I become the Dark Lord, the true Lord of Men. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to light the bonfire. Next time, I'll just walk away. Do you get achievements for that? Yeah, there's two separate endings, so I gotta play through this game twice to get both of them. Alright, we'll light the bonfire. They'll light the bonfire. But GG's, that is Dark Souls playthrough. And I think, like, it didn't take me that long to get through this game.
You see that parrying is broken. I love it though. GG's. Uh, uh, link to the fire. To link the fire. Reach to link the fire ending. Alright, GG's. Great game. Great game. Playing through this again, man. It, I don't know. This, this might be one of my favorites as well. I like them all. I need to play through two. And three. A lot of people like three. So I, I need to play through the rest of them before I pass my final judgment. But yeah, Dark Souls 1 is a, as a complete game as they come, man. The way the level is designed. It, it could use some work. There's definitely some uh what do they call it there's definitely some cleaning up they can do in the game some stuff that can make it easier for the player but for the most part the game still holds up even today this 11 year old game I think it came out yeah I think it came out 2011 yeah so this 11 year old game still holds up fights felt very fair uh a lot of them easy not easy in the sense that you can just walk in and kill the boss easily but they don't feel as i don't know it's easier to cheese the enemies in this game than like the later games especially like Elden ring or something where you have to use a little bit of skill this game you still had to, but I don't know, it's, it's different. And if you if you play through both of the games, you'll see what I mean. Like a lot of the beginning bosses aren't really that hard if you know how to play a Souls game, so. But very, very freaking awesome game. I love this game. I'm gonna play through it again because I gotta get the other end and for the achievement. But yeah, I had fun. Had a lot of fun, actually. I'm glad I got to finish it before I go on this next break, because uh i'm gonna be off again because i gotta go home um to take care of some family issues all that stuff so i'll be off probably let me see 26 Ooh. i'll be off for a good bit dang i probably won't be back to like the 11th of next month so uh the 10th or 11th uh, so probably streaming on the well, maybe. Uh, yeah. Unless I can figure out how to hook up this stream at my mother's house, but her internet's not as it's not as fast as the one I have here, so the stream might be it's not gonna be the greatest quality if I can stream. So we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. If I can stream, I probably will. It just won't be like it is right here, so. But hope you guys enjoyed the game as much as I enjoyed playing it. Yeah. This won't be the last time I play this, so. I gotta play through it again, get the different ending. So there's that, so. Yep. I'm glad I found that Yato. Next time, I don't know what I'll use next time or next playthrough. I don't know. I really do like the katanas, so I might use the Uchi katana next. Who knows? But I might use a different upgrade path, use something different other than this, just a standard. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. 2011, yep. Uh, yeah, Brass Crest Shield came in handy. And we're in New Game Plus. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land... 
The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. me uh, look at myself in all my glorious armor what if I start with my actual weapons or they're probably gonna give me that broken broken weapon that I started with I think you can kill him outright I start with okay. Start with the katana. It still has the durability from my last playthrough. Well, since I'm here, I think I can go ahead and kill this guy. The asylum demon get his uh I think he drops a hammer or something shooting from here. Can't aim any further up. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's go. Oh, you're dead. Demon's Great Hammer. That's what you get if you defeat him the first time you play this game without running past him. Uh, let me see. I doubt I can use it. Yeah, 46 strength that I need. Looks like a good weapon. V skeleton. Alright, I'm gonna go save, and this is where I'll call it. I say go save. This game saves uh, automatically. I am going to quit the game. Yep. Level 89, that's what I beat the game at. Um, roughly 70,000 souls, all that. These are my stats from beating the game the first time, just in case you want to see those. But I appreciate you guys. Uh, I'm going to see who's streaming online, all that stuff. See who we can raid. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hope you guys had a great time watching the game. Uh, had as much fun watching. I say watching a lot as I did playing it. Uh, let's see who is streaming and give somebody a host and raid I say host I don't think you can host on Facebook uh, hmm let's see Resident Evil 7 The Witcher 3 Dark Souls 3 let me see who's this guy 
I'm gonna view his stream before I send you guys over to him because I don't know who this is, so. I do want to watch Dark Souls 3 though. Oh man, Dark Souls 3 looks. I need to play it. I'm not gonna send you guys over to him though. Um, no problem against him, but he, he doesn't really speak English, so. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna send you guys over to Eric Busby. He is playing Resident Evil 7. Very, very awesome game. Another game I need to play through again. Uh, but yeah, check him out. Say what's up. Golden Sneak Ray in the chat. It's a pretty awesome dude. He usually plays like Kaizo. Uh, Mario games, but lately he's been, he's been playing a lot of Mega Man. Um, obviously Resident Evil Seven, so I think he's branching out a little bit. So check him out, see what's up. Uh, real chill dude. Give him a like, share, follow. Uh, Golden Sneak Ray in the chat, if you don't mind. I will see you guys in a few weeks, and we will probably start on Dark Souls Two. Um, or whatever I feel like playing. Have a wonderful night. Love you guys. And talk to you later.